Crab, Swoop, what's going on? How y'all doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm about to, you know, get my morning love going with my avocado. You know, I don't think all of y'all know, some of y'all do, but me and avocado got something special going on. And, uh, it's time to, uh, you know, do our morning rituals. What's up, redhead? Caught me at a good time. I'm eating something healthy. I know you like eating healthy. So you caught me at a good time. And I got some blueberries. Um, you like avocado? I know a lot of people say it doesn't have flavor and it doesn't, you know, don't taste like nothing. But I grew up on avocado, you know. It's um, a very uh, healthy, first of all. And, um, you know, my family obviously used to eat a lot of it in Puerto Rico because they grow it in Puerto Rico. But, um, yeah, I like to eat it raw, you know. I know some people like to put... Guacamole is good, obviously, and it tastes better, but this is quick, easy, simple, healthy, and um, yeah, it's just one of those things that I love them, you know what I mean? I know everybody doesn't, but hey, that's more avocados for me and for Mother Nature, the ones that the people don't eat. Oh, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you said you enjoyed them too. Because I mean, I mean, I know a lot of people. It's either like I think like there's almost no in between. It's either you love them or hate them type deal. I think there's like seven different species. I think I only had like two or three. Yeah, I did some um, running this morning. You worked out day, is it yet? Yeah, I did some jogging this morning. I did some curling yesterday. Rav, you gotta get up and try and try and try. <laughs> I just kind of woke up from a little nap, guys. If I look, you know, like... Um, I look kind of swollen. Which one you get? You get the small ones like this? Well, well, this is half of it, so you know what the other, what the whole thing will look like. These are the small Mexican avocados. What's so special about these avocados is they're ripe all year long. So that's hard to beat. You know what I mean? Something that's good all year long. But the ones from like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Florida, the other ones are bigger and they're more watery. And when I say watery, I mean in a good way. Like they're juicy. When you eat them, they're like just... I don't know. They like melt in your mouth. They're they're they're, they're all good. I like them all. Yeah, the ones you, you probably get these over there because they the other ones are like seasonal, you know. So it makes sense for somebody to ship them or sell them and not have to worry about you know upsetting their customers. Yeah, I remember when I went to Puerto Rico. I went to, I went to Puerto Rico twice. Like butter, baby, facts. Um, good to see you, though, Swoop. Haven't seen you in a while, but glad you're doing okay. Still riding the bike. I remember I went to Puerto Rico a long time ago, and I wanted, I brought some avocados back. And I didn't know, 
you know, there was seasonal, like certain up, certain years, certain times, out, certain months out the year, you know, they're only good. I was excited. I brought some back, you know, for my family. And I remember being in my grandma, my great grandmother's kitchen at a rest in peace. And before I even got to open them up, my uncle was like, yeah, those ain't going to be any good. Um, they're going to be black inside. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they're just, they're just not, they're just not in season. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I doubted him. I was like, man, but they feel good. They look good. I was like, man, I hope he's wrong. But I cut them open and sure enough, they were like just messed up. You know what I mean? And I felt bad. You know what I mean? Because I was like so excited to bring some avocados back to my family because I know everybody loves them. But, you know, my uncle grew up in Puerto Rico. Like he knows what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lesson. You know what I mean? And um, it's crazy how people could sell stuff like that. like a mango i remember buying mangoes are the same way well at least the mangoes around here depending where they come from we get mangoes from different places but i only buy mangoes like in the spring and summer i remember i stood at a walmart and i bought some mangoes and you know before i took off in the morning i slept there i slept there so before i took off i opened the, i opened the mango and it was no good i went inside and i took it back the lady looked like she was a little upset but i'm like shit Oh, that's cool, Swoop. You gonna make any videos? Yeah, I used to, I never had like a Harley style bike, but I used to have like a little ninja back in the day. And um, I like bikes, but I'm not just, you know, too crazy for them. My grandfather rides, he got a Harley. I had a nice ass picture on his Harley. But I think I lost it because this was when I didn't know you got to hook up. You know, I didn't really know about iCloud and hooking up your phone and saving your photos and all that. Man, I lost so many good photos. Temper, I meant, temper, a mental, I don't know what that means, but now you gotta get fresh. Actually, I got one. I went grocery shopping yesterday. And unfortunately, this one doesn't say where it's from. Sometimes they, they got like a little tag. I only bought one. Actually, I bought a baby mango the other day for the first time. It was a small, like long one. It was good. But, um, oh, I got a cantaloupe too. I'm about to bust that open maybe later. Actually, I might bust that open in a minute. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, girls that ride bikes is um even cooler. I think Rab is hiding because he doesn't like when I chew on camera. He's probably covering his ears and looking away from the camera. Especially me. I chew loud. I'm almost done, Rabby. <laughs> Shout out to Canada. I see you. I see those messages dropping. <laughs> I chew loud, huh? Yeah, it's funny because you don't notice how loud you're chewing until you, uh, until you, like, watch the replay. Oh, now you decide to come in. You never notice how loud you're chewing until, like, you watch the replay or something, right? Or that happens with me. Or I watch a video of me eating, and I'll be like, damn, I didn't know I'd be chewing like that. What's up, Chernette? How you been? Long time no see. It means they seem fresh and right, but are a bit hit and miss when it comes to flavor. Said, so, yeah, you got to get them in the summer. Um, I would just buy them in the summer, redhead. You know, that's what I would do. But you know, listen to what I do. 
you know, take it with a grain of salt because I don't make the best decisions always, but I do know a little bit about fruit. PMC Maestro was good. It means I'm eating well. Well, I'm a man and I hate to pull the man and woman card, but there's just some things men could get away with and women, you know, women can't, you know what I mean? Chewing loud, swearing, even though I try not to swear, but um, I don't know, women who, I think I talked about this last time on my live stream. I don't think it's very attractive when women swear a lot. I mean, swearing once in a while is one thing, but um, you know, you get these women who just swear way too much and it's, um, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't know, it's just me, whatever. Um, you know, farting in public. I don't think women should fart or say they farted. And I mean, the girls I dated in the past, they never did it in front of me unless they were like sleeping. You know, you can't control that. But um, yeah, it's just one of those things that I'm like, nah, I think I think part of it might be like being raised by a mother who did certain things in front of you. Mike, what's up, Jasmine? You know, you it might be acceptable to you. Like my mom, I don't think I never heard my mom fart. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm 39 years old, and I never heard her fart for real. <laughs> so you know, when I get around a woman and she's like, oh, oh, I just farted, I'd be like, bruh, I can't. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to tell me that. I don't need to hear it. Definitely don't want to smell it. <laughs> Hey, Beth, long time no see. Good to see you, my other British friend. Now I got three in the house. That's what's up, Team UK. Jarnet, I mean, maybe when you've been, I mean, again, I lived with women for years, you know what I mean? And they never done it in front of me, and I appreciate that. I just, uh, I just can't do it. And I have women sometimes do it in front of me, and I just be like, they might think it's funny, and I'd be like, um, I just be like, mm, burp, eh, burp's okay. My mom burps in front of me, so it's okay. My mom always says, um, it's just one of those things, you know, I got a bad memory, so I don't remember much, but every time we would be in a restaurant eating, my mom would burp, and I, and she's always like, oh, now I got more space for more food. <laughs> You're Scottish? Hmm. I don't know. I, I've been watching a lot of history lately, and I know um, <clears throat> there was a war between them back in the day. I'm doing okay, Beth. I need to sit down. I might go for a walk. Went for a jog this morning. I'm going to go to Bucky's. Anybody ever heard of Bucky's? I'm about to go there for the first time. What about you, PMC? How do you feel about women acting like that? I don't know. That's kind of personal. I don't want to ask about people's personal, you know, about their other, you know, their significant other. But oh, you heard of it? Yeah, it's walking distance for out for where I'm at. Actually, you can see this. I don't know if y'all can see the sign here. It's like a it's like a picture of a beaver. I'm gonna try to pull it up. Yeah, it's like a big beaver right there. And um, yeah, I hear good things about them. I hope it doesn't rain. I'm in Texas right now. Am I? Yeah, I'm near San Antonio. Damn, let me not scare you with a close up on my face. Una chica sin modelas ni repeto por si mismo no es una dama. Eso es lo que solio decir mi papá. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm walking through uh swoop. I would yeah, they definitely don't allow trucks. I heard I heard that and I noticed that. But I'm at Love's and it's walking distance. I'm on my 34. And what's crazy is I'm at a Love's and they're remodeling remodeling it and the showers are like not available. I'm like, really? Out of all the truck stops. I was gonna go to a TA, but I already started my 34. I mean I got personal conveyance. Technically I can go, but I'm like, whatever. I'll just do what I got. I'll just go tomorrow. Big Beaver, ha, yeah. 
Oh, does he? I don't think he goes in the truck though. I don't unless he goes to the special one. Oh, the CR England truck. That's the one I bet. Brad, have you ever seen that CR England truck? I don't know why it's called CR England, but it got like a big like. They're Logan, not Logan. They're um. They're freaking symbol, whatever you call it. Has like a picture of a shine, like an armor on a knight, and I think it must be connected to the UK. Maybe whoever owns that company is from the UK or something. I'm gonna have to look into that now that I got some British friends and Scottish friends. So I'm gonna call Redhead the Scottish lady from now on. So I think that means you like um, what's that stuff? Hag? Not hag. Haggis. Is it called haggis? Yes, yeah, Swoop. I went in there this morning to go take a shower. And dude told me what an attitude. And I'm like, am I supposed to know the showers are being remodeled? I mean, I could see there's remodeling going on. But y'all could have been fixing anything. He said it like I was supposed to know. Like, yeah, the showers are, you know, being remodeled or something like that. I'm like, okay. So then I'm standing outside. So then I'm standing outside and I'm like. You know how it is when you're ready to go in the bathroom and just do your thing and you know you got it all planned out i'm i literally standing in front of the in front of the loves for like two minutes like what do i do now it just like i i almost didn't know what to do because i was like so ready to do what i had to do then i was like man i guess i gotta improvise and i had to do it a whole different way <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, da, da, da. Hold on, did I miss something? Can we burp? Ha! Yeah, it's all good, PMC. At least I'm not like I wasn't like hot and sweaty. I mean, I got baby wipes. You know what I mean? I know how to clean myself pretty well. Yes, yeah, swoop at the life decisions exactly. And then I got blocked in this morning. Look at how these trucks blocked me in. I had tr I'm surrounded by like trucks, but I'm on my 34, so I didn't have to move. But I'm looking at this truck like, yo, how am I supposed? Like, why would this guy park in front of me like that? You know what I mean? I got trucks on the side. I guess I'm thinking when that guy parked there, there was nobody on the side, but there was more trucks on the side. But I'm definitely gonna move the truck. Um, you know, after lunch. I'm gonna I just try to park in the spot where it's nice and level, you know what I mean? Because it sucks sleeping in like freaking different angles like this, like this, like that. Swoop knows what I'm talking about. It's not good for your back. Yeah, I used to follow this guy. He was called the hang at the hack the wandering haggis. He was a pretty cool dude. I think he's still on YouTube, an older guy. Chairman and Niles, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Good to see you. Hope all is well. And you and Wally. Puerto Rico, oh, a Puerto Rico. Oh, a Puerto Rico. Oh, that reminds me of Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. I think she's still sick. Yeah, I'm going to go to Bucky's at 11. I don't know what they have, but I think I hope it doesn't rain. I mean, I got a rain jacket. Yeah, I think I've seen her latest video. It was about planting and then she put some catnip 
not catnip, I think cat litter inside some of the pots. I can't say your name, that's a long one. Bisaya, I know Bisaya's in your name. Ange Bisaya Sa Aliman Alimanya. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You do, Chairman? Yeah, you need to. You know what, Chairman? If you don't have haters in life, you're not doing something right. And I know it's not easy because I deal with. I don't think it's so much on YouTube, but, you know, I deal with people on, um, you know, in the real world and on some other platforms that just don't like me for no reason, though. I mean, I guess people, I shouldn't say for no reason. Because I think sometimes we do things to offend people or and we maybe don't notice. But I wish them well, you know what I mean? From the bottom of my heart, I don't wish no ill will towards nobody. It's just, it, it, it isn't in my blood. I, uh, I just, it just bothers me that people got to be like that. Like people don't know how to just like move on and move forward. Even if we did have a little hiccup back in the day. It was probably, it was really minor, you know what I mean? And, you know, I tried to be the one to just be like, put it past us, move forward. But some of the, especially men, you know what I mean? I think, I don't know if this is true or not. They say women hold grudges longer than men. I don't, again, I don't, I don't know if that's true, but I don't know how men could just be so like, I don't know why they be acting like that. I just block them. I just block them. But y'all, so gang, what up, what up? Oh, that's what's up. 667. You get in there. Tuve que empezar mi mañana con un peso de ti ahora. That's what's up. If they don't tell you, then you can't correct it. That's how I see it. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, but whatever. You just can't expect everybody to like you in life. You know what I mean? It's impossible. No matter how nice you are, it's just not going to happen. And I think a problem I have, I can't speak for everybody. I feel like sometimes I put the, the energy into, into the wrong people and try to get the wrong people to want to like me or continue to like me and it's like you know what I mean that energy and effort should be put into like family and you know the friends that you know are official give them that extra energy and time you know what I mean and just let all those other people go oh I think uh, um, Payaso Gang had um well, let me start with this one. I think by Yasso Gang had Golden Chicken. Golden Chick. Anybody had that? I just made a video about that the other day. It was really good. And it was only $10 for that meal, guys. And like I said on the video, the best thing I liked about it, I mean, the second best thing. Number one, the food was delicious. Their meal comes with one drink and one side. But... If you don't want the drink, you get you could get an extra side. And I was like, OMG, this is like unheard of. And I'm loving it because I don't really drink nothing but water. You know, and sometimes when I buy like a value meal, they give me a drink. And I feel like I'm kind of compelled to like get some high C or maybe some ginger ale. Because I'm like, well, I paid for it. But this company, you know, or that restaurant was like. You know, take an ex. You know, when I read that, I was like, "Yo, I need to come here like at least once a month." I can't wait till they bring it to Buffalo. I wish I had the money. There'll be a lot of restaurants, and I know restaurant is a hard business to operate and open. But I think a chain would be easier. But and I'll be going to some of these places, and I know it's little slowly but surely they're gonna make it to Buffalo. But man, I can't wait to go back. They had that roasted chicken. I was loving it. It was so juicy and. Oh, man. Oh, you went? 
Yeah, I don't like the fried chicken, so I got the roasted chicken. That's why I liked it because they even had roasted chicken, and I can't really find grilled or roasted chicken nowhere. Any, you know, it's hard to find at the fast food restaurants. They took the grilled chicken sandwich out of Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's, and that was like the only sandwich that was kind of healthy. You know what I mean? It was decent. You know what I mean? Especially if you got it with like no mayo, maybe eat one bun, something like that. I mean, they still got some. I think the grilled. They they might still have the grilled chicken salads, but some of them just got the the fried chicken or the chicken fingers trips, whatever you want to call it. Troy Aikman and Moose Johnson used to be the spokesperson for Gold Chick back in the day. Yeah, that spot is good. What about Buckeyes? Bucky's. You ever been to Bucky's, bro? I'm about to go to my first one here in a minute. It's right there, walking distance. I'm about to go there for lunch. K Fry C got some good grilled chicken, but don't get drumsticks. They get the legs from skinny Cambodian chicken. Um, hmm. I don't know if I've been there. Oh, I'm going nice and early, and I'm not in a rush, so if they're packed, it's all good. Yeah, I figured you went to the. I mean, I'm in Texas right now. I'm in. I'm near San Antonio, and um, I figured you've been to these spots. Yeah, that's funny because they don't allow truckers in there, though. And I don't blame them, man, because truckers be messing it up. I mean, look at that. Perfect example. I don't know if, how good y'all can see that. But it looks like somebody was doing some work on their truck. I don't know. Maybe they were changing uh, whatever. They were fixing their truck. And, hey, I'm just going to leave the old parts and pieces of the fender, whatever. Maybe it broke off. They might have crashed, but... You know what I mean? That's a perfect example why people don't want truckers on their lots. A lot of trash. Truckers be pissing on the concrete. Yeah, I figured that was KFC. Um, I made a video a long time ago. Like, there's nothing worse than waking up or even lowering the windows to your truck. And you're in a truck stop and you got to smell piss. And it's like, you know... Piss in the grass, piss in the bottle, and then walk 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, and dump it in the grass. If there's no grass around you, put the cap on it, drive, and dump it somewhere else. You know, but they just want to throw it out the window, and, yo, they just be... I know I'm not the cleanest person in the world, but they just, like... they Yo, they get me mad, yo. Yeah, it's a shame. It's like, yo, you don't piss on your steps at home. Why are you pissing on our on our... On our, you know, on our backyard. This is where we sleep, shower, eat. Like, they're just disgusting, man. I seen... Yeah, but they should, but they dump it on the concrete. Or they just get out their truck and piss on the concrete. I actually seen a trucker getting fuel and pissing right behind the... Right behind the... Um, behind the gas, the fuel island, whatever, behind the pump. It was the middle of the winter... It wasn't many people around, so maybe he thought he could get away with it. But I'm like, really? Like, yo, they just lazy, man. And that's why we get a bad reputation out here. People stereotype, you know? Walmart used to be trucker friendly. They used to let us park there with no problem. And now they're putting, they're cracking down. They're putting signs all over. And they don't want us there no more because people litter. People do nasty things. I mean, very nasty things. All right, take it easy, PMC. Oh, yeah, I cook in my truck every day. Uh, by Yasuo Gang, you already know that. But, you know, I like to... I'm the type of person... Hey, what's up, Shay? Welcome to the stream, Team Canada. I'm the type of person, when I go to a restaurant, I want my plate to be halfway healthy. You know what I mean? So I'll get like something grilled with some veggie, maybe, and then I'll get like some mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, you know, because I cook healthy food in my truck. But when I go to these restaurants, it's like I got to mix it up. BKM in the house was good. How you doing, she? Good to see you in the stream.
I'm on my 34 right now, making a delivery. Um, it's near San Antonio. It's a little city, a smaller city. Out. I forgot to I'll tell you the exact city right now. Hold up. It's called um, Seguin, Texas. It's like 20, 30 miles from San Antonio. Yeah, I'm in Texas, and then after I unload, I'm gonna go load in um, near Houston. And then after that, I'm not sure. They do have a simulator truck at some trucking schools, but they basically take you on road rides when you get your permit with the instructors, you know? Oh, they got barbecue? I've been eating too much barbecue. You know, when I'm in the South, I always get barbecue. Actually, I've been craving some pizza, but, you know, I'm from New York, and we got, like, our pizza is off the hook. Don't get it wrong. I find some good pizza when I'm out of state, but it's, like, hit or miss. You know what I mean? What's up, Legalize? Good to see you, buddy. Um, so I get a little skeptical when I want to buy pizza out of state. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I wouldn't mind getting some Mexican food, but... I don't know if Bucky's is gonna have real authentic Mexican, you know what I mean? Team Donut, yeah, that's you and Rav. Why well, you gonna quit smoking? Um, by y'all so is that part is that your plan or what? Oh, for real? <laughs> nah, I really don't like donuts. I like sweets, but donuts is not my thing. I eat them. I like the peanut donuts. I like jelly donuts. I'm eating blueberries, bro. We eat healthy around here at PMC. I mean, BKM. We don't wait till we need a physical to eat blueberries. We eat blueberries almost every day. Bro, fight. So your height doesn't matter, bro. That should be the last thing you're worried about. Yeah, I do eat healthy. I know a lot of y'all see me eating at all these restaurants, eating unhealthy food, but I eat healthy as well. Oh, I love blueberries. These are um, these are um, organic too. They cost more, but. Certain foods I buy organic now, and not everything. But some foods are more important to buy organic because some of them, you know, they absorb the pesticides more than others. And I just found out organic food has pesticides as well, but they just use like pesticides without as many chemicals. You know what I mean? But yeah, certain foods like berries, I get organic potatoes. Um, I mean, I, I started buying sweet potatoes again. I just bought a potato peeler, so I don't really feel like it's that necessary because I'm peeling the peel off. Bananas, I don't because anything that has like a thick like um, peel on it that protects the fruit itself. And I know some of it's still getting inside the fruit, but I really don't, you know, 
I don't, I just be like, I'm okay. Yeah, all berries are hitting. Slingshots. Bro, you remember the bean shooters back in the day? I used to have the bean shooters. I think everybody had the bean shooters across the board. You used to get the little huggy, you know, the little 25 cent um, huggies. We would, you know, we would cut them and then we would, uh, it'll be like this. We would cut this part off right here and then we would put a, a balloon on this side and then we would put rocks in there, marbles, all kinds of shit and we would shoot people with them. And I remember one day we was in front of my house and my friend shot old lady's window. She drove by my house. My house is like on a busy street. And you know, he shot a marble in this old lady's window and shattered the whole shit. And this lady pulled over and was crying. I mean, this lady was like 70. She was like in her 70s, bro. And um, I felt so bad. I mean, I was young. I was probably like 12 years old. And I didn't know what to do. I was so sad and she was crying and I don't think she knew we did it, or I don't know if she knew or not, but I was like, man, that was the day I was like, yo, I can't be hanging with these guys no more. <laughs> All right, we can stay safe. Man, it wasn't me. Um, we used to do bad shit when we was young, man. But that's part of being young, you know? And you're out there running around without, you know, running around with the wrong crowd. I remember there was this one day we were in a pizzeria and there was this lady in there. And it wasn't me again. My friends would always get out me in trouble. Yo, this dude literally pulled a wig off a lady's head. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing. But, yo, it was in a pizzeria and I got caught because the dude, like, my friends ran out. And somehow, I think I got caught. I don't remember. I think I might have ran away, too. I don't rem I remember vaguely. These dude, One of my boys pulled the wig off the lady's head and just ran away, man. And we just started running, I think. I was like, yo. I remember there was a... I'm just telling you about like, when I was young, young. like Because, you know, I felt like... I really didn't know what I was doing. So I felt like, you know... I feel like no real bad karma came at me. Because when you're young, you get away with certain things. At the... At the moment, it was I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, there was this other time me and my friends. I think it might have been for Halloween, and uh, these guys, my friends, decided to like I might have joined them. I don't remember all the details, but they decided or we decided to like take a coat from another kid. You know, I live in Buffalo. It's cold, and I think this is when like the triple fat goose was out or the first downs. It might have been the first down coats. They were like in style. And I don't know. I don't know if I should say they or we took this kid's jacket, and for and somehow like the police ended up at my grandma's house. Like they chased me back somehow. Somebody snitched on me or something. I got in so much trouble. It was bad. Suppose you have different food standards than when it comes to pesticides, etc. Oh, what's your uh, standards? He scared that lady. Uh, after the day, she had one foot on a banana peel, another in a gray. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, I had a bad connection. It's funny that you say that, redhead. Um, because I know there's a certain chemical, I don't know what it's called, but there's a chemical that us Americans are still putting in our food, in our oil, to be to be exact. And they're banned, like in the UK and other countries. And, you know, there's people trying to get, get it banned over here, too. I don't remember exactly what the chemical is called, but I know it's like in vegetable oil and it's in some other type of oils. America needs to get, you know, get on track with... Um, even Russia got like standards and you know protocol that people have to follow. I don't know. I mean, it's possible.
gotta get up and try and try and try. No chemicals at all. That's what's up. It's funny because I was just thinking about you too. I was like, yo, I wonder if Rav is noticing me zoning. <laughs> They call me the zone, the zone champion over here. All I wanna say is that. All I wanna say is that. All I wanna say is that those Ford drivers don't really care about us. I can't say the UK don't care about us no more because I got some, you know, some more British or you. So hold on, I got a question though. Is the Scottish, is Scotland part of the UK? I don't think so. So I don't know. Redhead lives in in the UK now, so I'm you know I can't say the UK don't really care about us no more because I know Redhead really cares about us. So now I got to switch it up so you know those Ford drivers don't really care about us. Anybody else in here? Anybody else in here drives a Ford? I never bought a Ford. I don't think I ever will. I was just I just been a Chevy guy and a foreign car kind of guy. But if I'm gonna go. I would have to go with a Chevy, like Payaso, you know, with the Chevy gang. Deep fried ice cream, Chevy gang. I um, I only got deep fried ice cream that day because um, I wanted ice cream and the Mexican restaurants usually only have the deep fried ice cream. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, I got a Camaro 01. I used to have a Blazer. Uh, back in the day uh, well I had a Chrysler so I had two Chryslers actually I had the Chrysler Dodge I had the Chrysler LHS and then I had a Chrysler New Yorker man if I start naming all my cars I'll go on forever I had a my first car was an RX-7 I had an Acura I had two Acuras I had um, a Jaguar, and these are all older cars, nothing new, you know what I mean? I used to buy them all used. A Jaguar, I had an Oldsmobile 98, I had, um, uh, Toyota Supra, um, Toyota Celica convertible, I had, um, Might be forgetting one or two. Yeah, sadly we are part of the UK, but I'm still Scottish. <laughs> sadly, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about history, but like I said, I've been watching a lot of history videos lately, so I'm into it. When I was young, I didn't like history. I didn't like social studies and none of that, but now i enjoy it because it's like they got a lot of free not a lot of free a lot of like documentaries on youtube that are like one hour to three hours long and they're perfect for like writing because i try to find things that i could listen to that you know might be i don't know something positive and something informative instead of just listening to music all day i'll listen to like biographies um history channel uh, sometimes I listen to uh, like animal planets, stuff with animals. Basically, it's like the U.S. North versus South. Hmm, interesting. Eat fried chocolate chip cookie with ice cream would be hard fresh out of the oven. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, I, used to, I like making desserts like that when I'm home. gotta get up and try and try and try no zoning out bro no time for zoning out we got the zone we got the zone out police in the chat room today they keeping track they said three zone outs and you're gonna have we're gonna have to give you a 100 fine no time for zoning 
the zone the zone the zone copper is in the house he got his uh the zone referee he got his whistle and all that i gotta get up and try and try and try rabbit secondly in the south but the north of, of the south so he gets a pass ah, i see i want to write a book but don't know where to start i want to do it like the old school on a typewriter oh that's what's up i was actually listening to a you um i was listening to you know one of the history lessons the other day and the way they used to like keep track of information was like mind-blowing you know what i mean obviously they did the hieroglyphics on the wall but they, they would like carve stuff into animal bones like the first calculator was like on animal bone bro they would like put these like they would carve marks into like animal bones that keep track of, I don't know, whatever they were trying to count. And they would use, um, what else they were using? They were using um, like stones. They would use, they would use these stones and like, you know, keep track of things on stones and shit like that. I'm like, man, it's crazy how we evolved. And evolving is good, but I think we're doing, where I think we're doing just a little too much these days, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay to evolve, but long as it's not, you know, hurting the whole planet as a whole, you know what I mean? Like, I love technology, but it's just, I think it's, at this point, it's causing as much harm as it is good. It's probably causing more harm. And not just the environment, you know what I mean? I'm talking about, like, mentally and destroying us as a, as, as, a, just as a whole again, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Here I go talking shit about social media, but I'm on, on I, while I'm on a live stream. No zoning zone. Facts. The book will be called In the Zone. There you go. About to blow my nose in case anybody doesn't like that or thinks it's disgusting. I'll mute at least I'll mute the phone because I know um, Lefty does not like it. Um, so shout out to Lefty. I know he's not around, but I'm gonna mute it just in case. Social media is more bad than good, to be honest. Look how many people committed the S word behind the internet bullying. Yeah, that's sad. It was a truck horn. Ha. Yeah, social media is, it's just a double-edged sword, you know what I mean? You have to, You. how does it go? How does the saying go? You have to go on, do social or be on social media don't let just control it basically that's the best way to put it have limits you know have certain a certain amount of you know certain days or certain hours where you know you allow yourself to be on it but if you're on there using it for something valuable then it's worth it but if you're on here just wasting your time following somebody like me you know I feel bad for you guys <laughs> no, I shouldn't talk like that. You know who wouldn't like me saying something about that PMC? Because PMC, I noticed he's very, he doesn't like, he doesn't like when you, you know, kick your, you know, talk bad about yourself. He was like, that's what the enemy wants. And it's not healthy, you know? Yeah, just control it yourself. Exactly. Good way to put it, uh, Fred. And, you know. I know a lot, a lot of the YouTubers don't understand, like with more time that goes on, you just start meeting too many friends on YouTube. So it comes nearly impossible to support everybody, especially like if you have a job like me as a truck driver. And in the beginning, I used to take it personal. And I think we all go through this. I used to take it personal because I would support channels. They wouldn't support me back. Or I would even say hi to people in chat. And when they wouldn't say hi to me, I used to be like, yo, these people think they're like too good or high class. And I realized that's not the case. People just simply don't, 
people are just overwhelmed and they don't feel like like you don't have to say hi to everybody you know what i mean um and no, another thing i noticed like me sometimes i feel like I don't want to say hi to people in chat rooms because I feel like if I say hi right away they think I'm a cool person or a nice person and they think I'm going to follow them back and want to follow me so I know it probably sounds rude but sometimes I just be ignoring people like whatever. Fart diesel. <laughs> they say not to talk bad about yourself but then they call you conceited when you talk about yourself. Both sides are never happy. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Fred. I think I'm lagging as I just saw you blow your nose. I got a bad signal where I'm at, but I think you were being funny. Brad, when you pass a, pass a gas station, sir, the law just passed out here, and it shouldn't be worldwide, but I must say you just passed gas. Yeah, I seen you put that in PMC's joint the other day. Thank you, Redhead. No, I know who's, I know who's genuine. Everybody here is basically genuine. I'm talking about those random people that come to your live streams or leave those fake comments. And um, even when I was growing on YouTube, if I didn't watch the whole video, I would let it run. You know what I mean? Like, I would at least give people, I would try to leave you a comment that's based on, you know, based on the, on the video. And I would, um, I would let the whole video run. Now, you know, Again, I got a smaller circle, so if I leave you a comment, I definitely let the whole video run, and I'm not gonna say I watch every single second of your video because I don't think no, none of us do that unless, you know, we're into it. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, for the connection. Yes, it gets really hard the more family you gain the, in the, to the work of a 12-hour job. Yeah, you could tell though, legalized, you could tell who's doing it, who's not. No, Rav, you watched the. No, Rav, you're definitely a genuine follower. Anybody in the chat room right now is official, you know? I'm, I'm talking, this was more directed towards the live streams, you know, other live streams that I visit and, you know, those people. Another thing I don't like for anybody here, uh, you know, when I go to if somebody's live stream, like, don't drop my link and, um, you know, I really don't like connecting with new people. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We like what we like. We like what we don't like. You know what I mean? So I don't think... I mean, if 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 if, if the host does it, I don't really get mad. But it's just one of those things where it's like I prefer... I just prefer that they don't. You know what I mean? And I think what a host could do is ask. I had, I had people ask me in the past, like, Hey, do you want me to drop your link? And I just simply say, no, thanks for asking. I prefer that you don't. I watched loads of stuff, but never commented as as I was hiding my account for ages. Oh, for real, Redhead? That's cool. I appreciate you. Z ignored me for over a year and a half, but never never give up on paying our girl when you like cut hair. <laughs> That's funny. I'll be live for four more minutes, guys. Take it to one hour today. This is my day off. When I'm on my day off, I got a little extra energy. Man, the flies be coming in my truck. I'll be spraying them with... um glass cleaner they be so mad and then they fly out the window i know that's random like everything but my freaking sprayer broke and it's annoying i might just buy a separate i know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find a different bottle and pour it in i guess oh i got a better idea i'm gonna buy a new bottle of glass cleaner and when that one is finished i'm gonna pour this one inside that one how long is it going to take me to use that whole other bottle? I don't know. I guess I could use glass cleaner as mopping detergent to get rid of it sooner. It was only like a dollar. I could just throw it out. I don't like it. I'm very conservative, though. Get out of here, bro. I'm about to spray you with some glass cleaner. You're about to be so mad. All right, enjoy your dinner, Fred. I'm ending here in a few minutes. I appreciate you, bud. Fred always leaves genuine long comments, and um, I like going to his live stream. He's doing those Legos. That's um, 
it seems like it's therapeutic. Something I never got into growing up, but my cousin used to. My cousin Victor, man, he rests in peace. He was always into Legos. And I wish I, I wish I would have got into Legos more growing up, you know, building stuff, using my mind more because that's just all, it's just an all around win-win. It's so good. It's health and it's positive. And uh, maybe that's something to do with my baby. I bought her a Lego set a while back, but unfortunately I didn't get a chance to play with her because I ended up getting back on the road. But <sighs> that sucks. I hate that part about my job. Yeah, I'll start driving tomorrow morning, Fred. I'm on my 34. Oh, you like? Yeah, I'm going. I bought one for my daughter. I mentioned a while back. Maybe me and her could build that one and make a video of it, and then we could start a little collection. Yeah, that's good for your motor skills. It's good for your mind too. Keep your mind sharp. Is it eleven o'clock yet? Dang, I still got an hour and like twelve minutes. Cookies and ice cream. Yeah, that sounds so good. I might get some dessert today at Bucky's. They got some good desserts at Bucky's. <sighs> pudding and candy. I like banana, banana pudding, banana bread pudding, whatever it's called. That was one of my favorite desserts for Thanksgiving. Or it is one of my favorite desserts. It's just sad how the holidays ain't the same. As you get older, family falls apart. Once, their grand, once my great-grandparents died, the same story in a lot of families. Like, the family falls apart. It's so sad. And now we have a new problem. It's called social media. Everybody's putting their... You know, their spare time is going to social media and not really focusing on family. And I'm guilty of that too. But at least I admit it. And when you have a problem and you admit it, at least you're on, you know, at least you could try to overcome it, you know. But when you're in denial, you're never going to overcome something. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Appreciate your time. Time is our biggest asset. And um, I'm thankful to have, you know, some genuine supporters. Everybody that's in here is a genuine supporter, good friend of mine. Like I always say, there's no such thing as a perfect friend, perfect son, perfect YouTube friend, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just glad that I have a, you know, a good. I have the idea to stream in the future, build and give them away a deal for later on. You will be the first one I send one. Oh, that'd be nice. Legalize. Yeah, we can talk about that later, buddy. Shout out to Claire too, um, Twister. That's where I met you, and I haven't been to her channel in a while because I usually support live streams. But I like Claire. I know some of the friends she supports. I really don't get along with them too much because they were doing a lot of talking behind my back, um, especially about you know some things, a relationship that I got going on on YouTube, and um, I don't like that. You know what I mean? If you got something to say say it to my face you know what i mean or show me show me your true colors you know what i mean don't come around and act like everything's okay and then you're bashing me behind my back you know what i mean i don't get down like that but anyways let me get out of here what's up number two with fries another genuine supporter appreciate you buddy i'm out of here though have a great day enjoy your uh enjoy your meal legalized they other one always fun around the company never disappoint stay safely thank you Family just ain't the same anymore. The, the, the best families are the ones you choose and build facts. Okay, bro, stay safe, stay blessed. Thanks, you, brother Rav. See you later, man. That name is the time where you are here. Yeah, it's no, it's 9.50 right now, a.m. I'm waiting for 11 to go to Bucky's. Thank you, Swoop. My truck insists. Always good to see you. Hope to visit you soon. Sorry I haven't been there in a while. Thanks for coming back around. Peace out, guys. What else, cool? Yeah, you.